Hi guys, Tim Roberts here talking to you about the third week of fundamentals. This is about scales and key signatures. This is a big deal. Scales are something that we're all really familiar with, but you may not have thought about the details of what's actually going on in there so you can hear the personality and perhaps the meaning of the scale. That's the point of this. Don't skimp on this chapter. It's really important. So let me stop here. I'll pick you up the piano. Sometimes it's just super easy to hear a scale in a song. Joy to the World is just basically a scale that descends, a major scale. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, and then it kind of makes its way back up. So, la, ti, do, at the end. Super simple, right? Sometimes they're not that obvious, but scales tend to be important because they are sort of the vocabulary of the building blocks of pitches that are going to go into the song that you're working on. Okay, uh, let's talk about a number of different scales. Scales are usually measured and and labeled and have a vibe or a personality over the course of an octave, the distance from, say, C, D, if G, A, B, C. But there's a bunch of ways to get from C to C. The major scale we talked about a second ago, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and repeats the one, an octave going from C to C. That was a major scale because it had a certain combination of whole step, then a whole step, then a half step, then a whole step, then a whole step, then a whole step, then a half step. That combination of halves and holes gave it a personality. But I could cover the same ground, C to C, with this pattern. A different order of half steps and whole steps, but that had a personality, right? And we might recognize it as a minor scale. But that was combinations of the halves and holes. What about things we call symmetrical scales that have the same size interval each time? How about the teeniest, tiniest interval you know? Half steps, C, then up a half, then up a half, and up a half. I'm not skipping anybody. This is a chromatic scale, just like chromatic light, where I'm getting all the colors of the rainbow in a chromatic sort of spectrum. Yeah. Uh, what if they were all whole steps instead of half steps? The classic you're sleepy, you're sleepy sound of a whole tone scale. What if I always did half then whole, say for instance? Go up a half, then a whole, then a half, then a whole, then a half, then a whole, then a half, then a whole. Coming down. A, a whole, then a half, then a whole, then a half, then a whole, then a half, then a whole, then a half. That guy's a diminished scale. And it could go the other way too, going whole, then half. Both ways they cover an octave, but in these repetitive it took me eight notes to do that. Back in Stravinsky's day, he called that a octatonic scale because it was an eight note scale. Those are all scales, you guys. They all cover that distance. I could slice it smaller, too. I mean, this is a very Western thing, this half step thing. If I simply sang, da, I'm covering that same octave, but there I don't even have any notches in the scale. Don't forget, that's a possibility. One last little note here for you on this chapter. When you're building scales, say building a diatonic or across the tones, a diatonic scale like a major scale, it's going to follow a pattern, right? We said that in the previous little clip. A C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, half step. Okay, great. If I change the key though, let's say I go to the key of E. And I'm on the key of E, I'm gonna build a major scale from E. I'm gonna follow the same formula of step, step, half step, 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 half step, and I'll be home. But the names have gotta be careful. Because these guys have possibilities. Whole step up from E is F sharp. Now I could call that guy G flat, but in the context of the key of E, I'm going to call him F sharp because F is the next letter in the alphabet. And in my seven note scales, these diatonic scales, I want to have one of each letter and no repeats of anybody. So I want to call this the notes in the scale E, F sharp, G sharp, A. I was going to call that guy A flat because I'm going to have A in a second. So once again, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. It's got to be C next. And a C sharp, not D flat, because the next note's going to be D sharp. And that'll lead me a half step up to the E at the end. So I have one of each letter. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. But specifically, 
E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, 